Local researchers have discovered 27,000 barrels of potentially toxic material off the coast of Southern California. Researchers with UC San Diego mapped the seafloor and made the discovery in a former DDT dumping ground. News 8's Brandon Lewis looks at the findings and how the barrels got there. At Carlo and Marcelo, those barrels were placed there decades ago and were only recently found. We didn't know the extent of the issue until local researchers went out and had a look. San Diego researchers spent two weeks in the San Pedro Basin near South Catalina. It's an area twice the size of Manhattan that was once a dumping ground for toxic material like DDT. It's important for the public to, to realize that it's not just barrels associated with the Montrose Chemical Corporation and you know, potential DDT within those barrels, but a wide, there was a wide range of dumping that occurred here in the LA Basin. And as I mentioned, it began in the 30s. The dumping continued for 40 years, and no one really knows what's left behind or the impact it's having on the environment. In fact, just counting and mapping the barrels thousands of feet below the surface is a technological marvel. In total, we detected over 100,000 targets, and we were able to classify 27,000 of those as barrel like. We have a high degree of confidence that these are indeed barrels. And then over 100,000 other debris targets. We just didn't feel confident calling it a barrel, but it's clearly man-made. Other teams will start with the confirmed items and eventually take samples. We need to measure and assess the conditions of the barrels, find out if they're no longer containing what might have been discharged in them, and begin taking samples to do chemical analysis. From there, other teams can consider removal or cleanup, and some can look at studying how it's impacted marine life, including bottlenose dolphins that were found with high levels of DDT back in 2015. There are also more places to search for these barrels, meaning these 100,000 targets may be only the beginning. We were very surprised at the extent of them and over what length of them, but you know, looking at the historical records, how this had potentially occurred for decades on a monthly basis, shouldn't have been a surprise to us, but it was still just not anything I had really uh, wrapped my head around in terms of envisioning what we might actually find. There's still a lot of ongoing research that needs to happen, including just how big of an impact this has had on the marine life that calls that area home. Carlo and Marcella, 